What is going on guys? Welcome to an Are You Open video. Yes, um, I signed myself up for Are You Open. Um, and sorry, I'm just gonna quick turn my mic down a little bit. Maybe that'll make it a little better. There we go. So, um, I signed myself up for Are You Open. I think it was uh, like a week or two ago. Two weeks ago. And um, I hadn't played any Are You. Um, this is just an excuse to get me to uh, try and play um, to play the tiers um, because I do want to try and get back into the uh, uh, the smog on competitive scene um, and kind of go from there, right? Uh, so I figured, you know what? Uh, I missed the, UU, the I think I missed the Ubers and or maybe the, it was the UU uh, UU Open sign up. So. I was like, well, I'll do both the RU and NU. Um, I'm a sub for the NU Open. I am also a sub for the Little Cup Open. Um, entered in for the PU Open. Uh, I've got my, I've got to set my time for my, uh, for my round one match. So, oh, I think I have a quick mouthful of coffee there. So, um, my opponent, as you can see, is Itchy Eevee. Um, going into this. I didn't like really prep. I just played RU and built the teams that I used in these games, um, as you can see by the team. So um, I'm using a team that I built uh, primarily surrounding Barizion, uh, SD Barizion. I really wanted to use it because it is a supremely powerful mon in the tier. Like there's very few switches to it, as you can see by my opponent's team. Um, just with its coverage, um, I'm using uh, Close Combat, Leaf Blade, Stone Edge, and Opposite Swords Dance. So the coverage basically hits my opponent's team extremely hard, um, except for that Galarian Corsola. So being able to uh, use this as a win condition late in the game, once I can get some damage off on everything, is fantastic. Uh, Choice Scarf Braviary. Um... Now I could have gone for something like Defog and it, like it actually could be slightly better just with, you know, Boots, Defog, U-Turn, etc. Um, alongside Roost could have been interesting, but I figured Scarf just to, like just to be able to hit everything extremely hard. Um, just going for U-Turn, being able to, you know, potentially sweep like game with Brave Bird. Uh, speed tie, other uh, choice card Passimian, so that so potentially winning a speed tie could be the game. I figured would be a nice complement to Verizion. We have a uh, defensive uh, defensive colossal, special defensive colossal uh, with flamethrower, rock blast, rapid spin, and stealth rocks. Um, reason for this being. Uh, I wanted rocks, obviously, to chip away at everything that, uh, so I can get some residual damage on everything, so Verizion can sweep. I was also looking for a Pokemon that could rapid spin all in the same breath. So that was my main goal. The other thing that I knew too is that Charizard runs boots plus defog and toxic, so, you know, if Charizard decides that they want to, like, I can switch this into Charizard, and they have to make the decision of whether to, you know, after they defog, do they take a potential rock blast and go down? Or do they switch out as I get my rocks up? So it kind of leaves them with an ultimatum that I really, really like. I'm using um, Mono Water Vaporeon. Uh, it is called Flip Turn, Wish, and Toxic. The reason why I'm using Flip Turn over Protect is very simply, I wanted a way to I, I basically want to make my opponent think that I've got protect so if they decide that you know they're gonna try and switch out on my protect I can kind of catch them off guard by going for a flip turn now obviously as you can see by my opponent's team or my opponent's team that you know big poor kind of ruins that but in any other situation like if a porion's like been knocked out being able to just flip turn freely and pass wishes off to stuff like Colossal, Verizion, uh, Vileplume, which I'll talk about in just a little bit. It just feels so nice to be able to do. And even in practice, yes, having Protect would be awesome, but eh, like I, I can live without it. 
uh, a Selgor, uh, throat spray, just bug buzz, focus blast, and uh, uh, energy ball um, with spikes. Um, I actually really like this set. Uh, like, yes, it's lower ladder, but I felt that you know, like having that plus one bug buzz, focus blast, or energy ball, like actually puts in a lot of work. Not necessarily versus uh, you know that Charizard sitting there, but being able to go for you know like a plus one energy ball versus a Vaporeon is fantastic. Just being able to set up a spike too, um, just to help whittle down my opponent's team is very 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 useful. Um, that's basically why a Selgor is there. Um, you could argue that Encore could go in there too, uh, just to lock your opponent in, force them to switch, so you know they don't just because they may not want to take a lot of uh, chip damage. So there's that to keep in mind. And then last but not least is, is a Bile Plume with uh, Strength Up, obviously Giga Drain, Sludge Wave, and Stun Spore, not Sleep Powder. I wanted to use Stun Spore for a few reasons. One. I can hit a lot of big physical attackers or like just attackers in general off guard um, they may think that oh I'm gonna be able to outspeed that Braviary if, if they're a faster choice scarf and then uh oh no they're not um, which means that Braviary could have a potential late game win it could even mean that they uh, that Vaporeon that uh, Barizion is going to be able to do uh, significantly more damage which was um, or not damage, uh, just get the crucial outspeeds versus certain mons, uh, which is something that I had considered as well. So, looking at my opponent's team here, um, it is Verizion food. Like, Verizion looks at this, licks its lips, and goes, it's feeding time. So, my goal in this game is to basically wear down that Gal Galarian Corsola. I do not want a situation where... I have to try and figure out late if it's Will-O-Wisp or Strength Sap. If it is Strength Sap, Verizion can beat it 1v1. If it is, you know, Will-O-Wisp, we have a completely different story because now I need to be able to play around, like play, you know, not be annoyed by this damn Corsola. Um, and that is very, very important for me to keep in mind in this game. Um, and the other big thing too that I noticed right away, um, Vaporeon's actually kind of crucial. Getting a Toxic off of most of my opponent's team, primarily the Vaporeon and the Corsola is very important. But when I looked at my opponent's team, I looked at that Vaporeon and I'm like, I don't know what it's gonna have. I am, I am anticipating Skull, I am anticipating Wish, I am anticipating Toxic, but I anticipate Protect. Because I feel like, one, you want to be able to protect, keep your Vaporeon, you know, relatively healthy. So it can keep passing wishes off to stuff like Charizard, Drapion if it gets low, Corsola if it gets low, basically the entire squad. So that's what I was anticipating. And even Corsola, I figured just looking at it, it would be Will-O-Wisp. Because, I mean, physical, like, like fighting types versus this team is kind of gross uh, just looking at it. So... Without further ado, let's get into this. Um, GLHF to my opponent, as we say in the chat. Um, so that first turn here, this is actually going a little bit fast, but first turn, I decide that I'm going to Toxic. The first reason, the big one is Skull's way too obvious, um, because that means big damage off on Charizard. Um, and that's not something my opponent has to do, you know, potentially going having to go for Roost as I switch to my Colossal. So I figure going for the Toxic here is the best play because one, it puts Vaporeon on a timer, and two, I'll also be able to find out if it's got Heal Bell. And if I find out it's got Heal Bell, then I'm in a bigger predicament than I originally anticipated. Um, just because, you know, Galarian Corsola is not going to be able to stay Toxic for very long, hopefully, for my opponent. So get the Toxic off. And here I switch out. Um, and go into my Vile Plume. Now, went out to Vile Plume, maybe like basically anticipating a Toxic. Um, wanted to anticipate a Toxic, then maybe want to get some some chip damage off with maybe a Sludge Wave. But makes a good switch. Goes into Corsola. They're gonna get up their rocks as I switch into Colossal. Um, my plan here is just to set up my rocks as well. Um, and I uh, switch out into Vaporeon knowing that I can't go for Rapid Spin. I do not want my Colossal getting weakened. Um, the reason is because I wanted to be able to take on this Charizard 1v1. 
Um, and I also want to be able to try and keep it around for the Drapion. Because any physical attack, like, like there's a huge chance that Colossal gets Flame Body. If like, it can Flame Body any physical attacker, and that is my hope in this game. Is that uh, if I have it go low and I lose it, I could potentially lose this game. So Vaporeon being able to go for wishes and everything like that, get its HP back, threaten Toxic with onto the Corsola is always really, really big. Now I switch into Vile Bloom here, anticipating the Vaporeon switch in, but my opponent makes a very, very interesting play and goes out into their Drapion. Um, and this puts me in a weird position. I'm anticipating a knockoff immediately. So I go for a Stun Spore. Now, the reason I go for a Stun Spore is once again, I didn't, I didn't necessarily want to be put in a position where the game was gonna come down to, let's say Verizion goes down, not much of my team is gonna be able to, you know, outspeed it. So maybe even hit it very hard. So I figured going for that would be a smart idea. Potentially as well, um, you know, get some Paras, be able to, you know, get something in for free. Um, which also would have been a really, really nice. But my opponent ends up going for Taunt. And that got me a little bit. Because I figured that this was going to be, you know, like maybe Swords Dance. Um, just to hit very, very hard. Um, I also could have seen Choice Scarf as well at Team Preview. But going for the Taunt was very, very interesting. Really, really annoying because it means I can't use Strength Zap. And I switch out into my Cell Gore here. And knock off Crits and kills me. Now, to be fair, I don't know whether this has any attack investment. A Selgor is extremely frail to begin with anyways, so that crit might have mattered. But at the end of the day, I mean, it sucks, but I can live with it. And I'm already down and I'm thinking, okay, so how do I want to do this? Well, let's go to Colossal here and let's go for Rapid Spin. I only went for Rapid Spin because if he switches in Corsola, I mean, then I can just go into Vaporeon, I can wish, I can stay in, I can do kind of what I was doing versus that Vaporeon before. But I do get the spin off as he goes in, as I go into Charizard, and so, okay. I figure here, I'm just gonna go for Rock Blast. Um, I get super unlucky here and only get two hits. I also got a low roll on that second one. If I got the KO here, in my personal opinion, I think I was golden. I keep my rocks up for the rest of the game, guaranteed, and everything's taking damage upon the switches. Fortunately, that's not what happens. They go for toxic. It's annoying. I get up my rocks, and I am going to end up killing this. Uh, no, I don't end up killing Charizard as they go into Corsola, and I get yet another uh, two-hit rock blast. Um, and I also get Curse Body. So, the same idea here, go into, Vapor, uh, go into Vile Plume, take the Nightshade, it's unfortunate, like, this is a very, very slow beginning here. It's basically me trying to put my, like, trying to weaken this course load, basically. Um, here, I try and go for the Flip Turn. The reason why I went for Flip Turn is because I feel like, one, if you, like, you kind of have to anticipate Toxic. Uh, or you don't have to, but that's kind of what I figured he, my opponent would uh, try and think about. So, you know, maybe trying to take a Scald and get burned instead of Poison made sense. But, you know, switching to Vaporeon, they're still taking damage. And Vileplume is always my switch here. Um, again, they go for Scald, whatever. Does nothing. Um, and they get into Corsola. They, go, they get back up the full. I try and Sludge Wave here, thinking that they're maybe going to go into Charizard. Um, maybe. Who knows? Especially knowing that, you know, I have Stun Spore. Maybe I'm going to, you know, try and go for a Strength Sap. Figured I'd give it an old college try. And here they just go for a Nightshade yet again. Which is fine. I go for Wish here, I believe. Yes, I go for Wish. Um, and I switch out into my, no, I don't. I go for toxic. I guess, uh, no, sorry. My thoughts are everywhere. Um, I went for wish there to, uh, obviously, you know, try and get, uh, try and get some HP back on something. Uh, I stay in because in the moment I'm like, okay, it's obvious I can switch into colossal. I could switch into Vileplume. 
So anticipating a Corsola switch in, uh, that's what my play was. Um, in hindsight, I like this play, but I feel like if I had maybe been able to get Colossal back to full, uh, it could have been relative. It could be uh, could have been beneficial. But uh, but here, what I end up doing is going out into my Verizion. Unfortunately, made that play one turn too late. Um, but again, Verizion. And here I'm like, okay, I can't stay in here. I need to know if this thing's going to have Willow for Strength Sap. And lo and behold, they have Strength Sap. Now, this is huge. This tells me that one, they don't have Willow because the combination of the two uh, would make zero sense at all. The second thing that I thought about almost immediately was I can set up and win. Like, if Corsola doesn't have any other move than Nightshade, I mean, it's annoying, but I can live with it. I'm like, okay, this is fantastic. I switch out into Vileplume, anticipating Vaporeon to come out, but they go into their Drapion, which is annoying. Um, I'm going to switch out into my Braviary. I'm going to lose my Choice Scarf, and I'm ultimately going to end up losing my Braviary here. At this point in the game, I was very, in, I was getting very, like, I was kind of, uh, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't really think it was like, damn, you know, maybe this wasn't the, you know, the team for me to bring. But then I was like, no, this is still doable. Let's just keep playing on. So go into Vaporeon here. They go for Taunt, which is very smart, but I'm going to end up going for the flip turn just to get that little bit of chip and go into my Colossal. Now. I only stay in here because one, I've seen Taunt, Knock Off, and Poison Jab. I am I'm anticipating Toxic Spikes is next. And they're not clicking it because obviously I have a Vile Plume in the back. I don't think they have Earthquake. If they had Earthquake, they would have gone for it when Colossal was in versus Drapion before. So, if they go into Corsola, because I believe I try and Rapid Spin. Um, Switch under Verizion, which I thought was fairly solid. They go for Strength Sap. I'm like, okay, I can do this. I'm going to Swords Dance up. They can't really touch me. They go for Strength Sap again. I'm back at neutral. Go for Swords Dance. They go for Nightshade. So now I'm sitting really low. I misplay. I went for Swords Dance when I should have gone for Leaf Blade. Um, as you'll see here, because of haze now i didn't anticipate haze i totally didn't think about corsola having haze in the moment it was not the first thing i thought about when i was going for this i figured you know get the plus three just make sure that you know you're doing a buttload to this corsola haze comes out i'm like damn i have to go to vaporeon and i do go to vaporeon they nightshade i go for wish no, I go for Toxic, sorry. I go for Toxic, hoping that they stay in. Um, but I do go for Wish. But, as you can see, this Vaporeon's getting very, very low. I don't necessarily need to worry about it. It's almost at, it's almost below 50. They're clicking Wish. I'm going to decide to go to Vaporeon here. Or to Vaporeon. Uh, Verizion here. I want to make sure that this thing is back at full. I want to make sure that I have as much HP because I'm obviously Life Forged. So if I'm clicking moves, I have a lot of HP to be uh, to expend. I'm gonna switch out into my Colossal as they go for Poison Jab, and I'm the luckiest man on earth. I get the burn on Drapion. This is fantastic. Uh, it means that one Black Sludge is being canceled out. Two, I don't die to a knockoff. It also means I'm able to get some free chip off on this thing too. And here I'm like, okay. Let's just get some damage. I just want some damage. I switch into Vileplume as they go for Strength Sap here. I don't have Toxic. They know I have Stun Support. I'm clicking Strength Sap. I'm trying to get as much HP back as possible. I do not want to go down to another uh, uh, Nightshade. I go for Stun Support. Now, before you guys go, wow, oh, well, why did you do that? You know, Toxic, getting a Toxic off on this thing 
is the better option. Absolutely, you are 100% correct. But paralysis is huge. If I can get in Verizion and I set up the plus two, and I can get that thing low, or not low, if I can get the KO on it, that is fantastic. That means that one, Corso's got a chance to para, which means that they can't haze. And even if they do start strength sapping, or attempting to there's always a chance for paralysis in tow and that is the biggest thing that i thought about it making that play here i decide i gotta switch out i gotta go to colossal at this point it's expendable i am gonna go into verizion i click sd here now i don't know why my opponent switched in my opinion and itchy eevee if you're watching i apologize but that was a choke. I don't think switching out was the play. I think that you just click haze. Um, I get that you don't necessarily want to get parried, but on the other side, Vaporeon's going to go down to a leaf blade no matter what at this range. I get the SD off. I go. I get the KO on the on the Vaporeon, which is fantastic. No more wish. They go into Scrafty when I do feel like they should have gone to Corsola try and get that attack off but i do get the ko they go out into charizard i just click leaf blades get the ko and i'm feeling very very good at this point plus two nothing can knock me out um i get the close combat off versus drampa fantastic i'm right back in this game they go to corsola here now this is where i made a misplay or i'm okay i miscalc when I calc this plus two leaf blade versus Corsola, it was in grassy terrain for some reason. And so I was like, oh, this is guaranteed to kill. Oh, this is totally fine. Um, wrong. Um, it wasn't. Um, <laughs> and they went for haze, which was perfect. That was a very, very good play. Now I have to hit them with Stone Edge, my favorite move. Um, so I'm going to click Stone Edge here. They decide to switch. I don't know why, um, I mean, I mean, on some degree I, I can understand, but like you have to go off the miss, um, and then you get your course slip back with the full HP, and that would have been really annoying, um, but I land the edge, um, I go for close combat here, it really doesn't matter because of course the switch is in, it goes down, and Drake down would have gone down to another CC after that, so, Corsola switches in, goes down, we say our GG's, game one's mine. That was a very, very scary game one. Um, this was a team I felt comfortable with, I had tested with it a lot, tried to improve it as best as I could. And I do really, really like this team. I really didn't think I was going to end up winning that game. I was very worried that Corsola was going to be able to just start clicking Nightshade and it was going to come down to uh, my opponent, you know, being able to just take every attack that I had to go at it. So it felt really, really good to win this first game. Um, coming back and basically reverse 6 0 um, with Verizion was absolutely fantastic. Um, so, going into game two, there was only one team that I felt comfortable with, and that was a Sun team I built right here. It was the only team that I felt absolutely comfortable with. I have Specs Charizard, I have uh, Physically Defensive Torkoal, Physically Defensive Gastrodon, phys uh, not Physically Defensive Vileplume, um, Offensive Vileplume with Black Sludge, no Life Orb, I wanted the... Uh, the consistent recovery potentially um so volley fairy for defog and a choice card for apion primarily for uh the Verizions that are in the tier um as well as just being a very good knockoff these are for stuff like corsola or just more defensive pokemon but as i see here my opponent brought the exact same team this was big because i basically knew the all the sets aside from the scrafty I figured the Drampa was going to be Specs, or at least some type of Cloud 9 set. 
So I was a little worried about that, but then I also looked at my opponent's team and I'm like, you know, Vileplume is very good. Like, Gastrion's really good. So, going into that, uh, going to the second game, I figured Silvali Fairy was the best lead. Because, one, I get to Parting Shot pretty much, like, pretty well no matter what. Um, unless he's versus Drapion, then I'm probably going to switch, but... I can parting shot if he leads with basically anything like Charizard. Maybe they go for Toxic, but meh, it's not a big deal. Um, GLH out to my opponent in game two. They lead Scrafty. They go into Corsola as I just parting shot. Again, it just felt super, super free. Didn't make sense for them to stay in. And I go into Gastrodon. I land a Toxic. They go for Rocks. Huge. I'm in a great position. I switch into my Silvali. I'm like, okay, they're gonna go to Vaporeon. All right, I get a, I go for a Defog. Awesome, and they show Heal Bell. That was very annoying. Um, I figured again that they would maybe have Protect, but it also made sense in a lot of ways for them to have Heal Bell um, to protect their Corsola, just because it is like another big part of their defensive backbone. So I was like, well, damn. A parting shot out, and I figured, all right, it's time to go into Vileplume makes sense they go for wish they protect on my sleep powder this would be the setup fodder basically um they decide to go into scrafty i decided the sludge wave because one there's no way that you are staying in and taking a giga drain the sludge wave made sense and i was like okay let's go for it again and i got a low roll and i was like damn i have to stay in here i should be able to take one i take it Fortunate, but the Scrafty goes down. Now, yes, I easily could have switched into my Silvali, but I wanted to keep it as healthy as possible to save it for Defog. Yes, Charizard does have Defog. Sure that they sure they could go for it, but they also have zero reason to when they have heavy duty boots. So keeping that around was crucial. As I decided to switch into my Silvali Fairy here on, on a poison jab, I knew I could take at least one. I am lucky enough, or I am unfortunate, they go for taunt, I don't get the speed tie. Um, but I do here, I get this, I get the uh, the multi-attack off, which is great. Um, do some very, very solid damage as I get the knockout. Um, and I decide that I gotta go to my Drapion, I'm gonna click Earthquake. I thought this would KO, it didn't. I'm not sure if that was a low damage roll or not, or maybe that was just their HP investment, but they get, I get knocked off. And now, at first I was like, damn. That's really bad. I got knocked. But in, my, but in my head, I was going, okay, no, no, no. This is actually decent. There's no way this thing has Earthquake. I know that. Otherwise, they would have clicked it versus my Colossal. So, if they do, I mean, like, kudos to you, man. Like, I wasn't expecting, like, I expected it, but you just, you just hit it well. And here, I'm like, knockoff makes uh, so much sense here. It KO, would KO the Drapion anyways. I get rid of anything's item that switches in. And at this point, I'm like, Torkoal, come on in. Let's set up that let's set up that sun. Praise it. And uh, here they go for Toxic. I just figure, let's go for Rocks. And force them to Defog. And Vileplume come in. Even if they attacked me with Flamethrower, eh. It wouldn't have done, any, done a whole lot anyways. And I can always just, you know... Lava Plume get some chip off on this thing, but it didn't make sense. I go into Vile Plume. Here comes our Sleep Powder. Boom. I go for Growth. They don't wake up here, which is phenomenal. And I know for a fact this is going to KO. Goodbye, Charizard. So immediately, huge threat gone. Vaporeon is going to come out. They protect. Not sure why they went into Vaporeon at that point then, um, but I am going to Giga Drain. I am gonna get basically all of my HP back and I'm and I'm feeling really really good. Trampa comes out. I don't care about Vileplume that much at this point because I know I can win this game. They go for a uh, plus one specs hyper voice. Uh, only reason why I know it's specs is because I knock off here. Um, and it was also plus one at that point too, so yeah. Here the reason why I switch out into my Torkoal. The first reason is let's just say they do have Earthquake. I don't want to have my Drapion take too much damage at this point. Um, 
or get real rando crit and die because I can't really I can beat Corsola with you know just toxic but I really just wanted to be able to try and win as cleanly as possible here so here I set up my rocks I misclicked I wanted to click lava plume uh, just to KO this thing it didn't make sense for me to click rocks at this point because I know I just win with uh, with my Drapion my Gastrodon I, as well so we, uh, me and my opponent exchanged GG's. Uh, my opponent wishes me uh, good luck in the next round because here I just have the click. Um, knock off a bunch of times and uh, I get curse bodied, but that really doesn't matter. I live the nightshade and we're gonna finish it off with a good old Drapion earthquake and that was GG. Um, I don't feel like, and like, I felt like my opponent played really well like that first game was very annoying now that was also just the team i brought but they also made a lot of really good switches conserving their corsola making sure that it never got poisoned um but and you know if they had stayed in with their corsola versus my verizion it could have been a very different story in that first game and we might have had to go to a game three um them not bringing a second or not second a, uh, a different team definitely hurt them in the long run here um, just because I knew pretty well all the sets going into it um, like I knew what the Charizard was I knew what the Corsola was I knew what the Drapion and the Vaporeon were the only two that I didn't know were the Scrafty and the Drampa so I felt really really good after this I was like damn I won with two teams that I built myself um, and that was just even better. That just built my confidence up a whole lot more, um, knowing that you know two teams that I built didn't look at like didn't look at any, any sample teams because the RU sample teams threat is just no longer there, um, which is really really upsetting because I really wanted some good guidance um, going into this. But this was very very fun. Uh, GGs to Itchy Eevee. Um, thank you so much for the fun set. Um, but yeah, we win. We win round one. We move on to round two. I believe our I believe matchups come out today. Today being Monday, the 29th when I'm recording this. So I believe they come out today. Um, and we'll get that video to you guys soon. With that being said... Thank you so much for watching. I didn't say it at the beginning, but leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know how you think I played. Again, I haven't played Smog on Competitive in forever. <laughs> so this just felt um, this just felt even better. Just knowing that, you know what, I haven't played competitively. So this felt great. Um, subscribe for more Pokemon content, and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.